Hello, everybody. You are back with American pop artist Perry Milo at Art in the Carolinas. It's been a long morning. I'm sipping my cup of joe. And I might add, it tastes pretty good. Later on, I'll have a glass of Merlot or Amarone, I prefer. Back at Where the Wild Things Are, we've flashed in a lot of this nice dark blue that will be in the Polynesian color theme scene of our man, Paul Gauguin. We're going to play on some of these colors here in this magnificent painting, Day of God, the Haitian iconic series uh, from the French artist Gauguin that got famed for his Haitian uh, paintings in uh, the area of Polynesia. Okay, now we're going to Picasso this out as we were talking before. We started to break down some of these shapes into cubism, working with some of these colors that we like in the Gauguin painting. Um, going back into some white, pulling into some pastel green here. Uh, I don't even know what it's called in the uh, tube, but I really like it. And uh, let's just find a shape here. The undertone or the underpainting seems to have dried pretty quickly. And look how I just fire that in. Picasso's Cubist paintings are such an incredible movement in art. So popular amongst the world today. Now, I like to flash color, so I just put in that shape right there. Now I'm going to go down here to his kneecap, fire in a circle. So this is really going to push this into the pop art realm. Now, cubism is obviously not pop art, but I'm going to play with things here. So they take on a pop art feel, but cubism, appropriation, or derivation of it. Staying in the same color family, another light aqua. Here's a spot in his elbow. Now this is picking up some of that brown from underneath, but that's okay. Now I might add a little bit of blue to it to change it a little bit. You see me pull that blue into the color while it's still on the brush. And right now I'm just filling in these geometric shapes. Here's another ankle. We're going to keep them the same. Hey, quickly, maybe I want to go over here and tie in some color on a giant leaf. Look how I just drag that in there. The great television painter William Alexander from the 60s and 70s used to say, the magic brush, the German artist. Up here, now this is how I flash color. This is what I like to teach. Flash your color. Don't stay in one area of the composition. You notice I flashed the turquoise here. I brought it up here. It starts to make you move around the canvas. Maybe even a stripe here, even though this boat might wind up being red. Okay? Flashing a stripe there. That's enough for the green family. Now the complement to that is going to be orange or reddish. Van Gogh always put red into his green, green into his red. I go into this. Vermilion, beautiful rich color. Hey, maybe his nose, his snout is going to be that beautiful vermilion. And I'm cutting that in. Maybe I'm leaving the nostrils blank right now. I'm firing in that color. Staying back on the brush a little more. And the character of Carol from Sendok's classic story, Where the Wild Things Are, is starting to come into play. Maybe lighten it up a little bit and do one of his horns. Shape. Bang. Maybe I go in here now and find this shape. 
I mean, Picasso did wild things. He'll take this, he'll draw a line around it. He would even break this down into more of a shape. But it's still, the character's still not losing his identity. You can see I'm just picking and choosing where I want to go. Look at that. This still keeps the form of Carol, the monster's body. And I could keep breaking this down. That's what he did. He kept changing shapes. Okay, now we're into that yellow family. I'm pulling white. I'm still staying neat on my palette. Maybe there's stripes in here. I saw a lot of that in Picasso's work when I studied the cubism. Now I'm gonna flash color again. I remember this tree in the original illustration had a lot of beautiful yellow flowers. So now I'm gonna talk about Surat, pointillism, neo-impressionism, and go in here and start a pointillistic approach to filling in this tree that's in the background. Look at that, I'm almost just making X's to fill that in. And some of that orange is coming off from the previous color down in here, but that's beautiful. It gives a nice variation of the leaves. I'm continuing to go in there. So that blocks in another little area of our painting. Let's turn it upside down again, something I showed you in a previous free art lesson. And let's take a look at what we got. Again, I encourage this highly. Take her, flip her around. Okay, I can still see the creature. Now there's yellow here, so maybe I don't want to block in this spot yellow, but maybe I could bring yellow into the foot. Dance that around over here. Again, flashing color. Look at that. This linen, you can really, really pull paint, make beautiful shapes. This is the pop artist, Perry Milo, M-I-L-O-U.com. Come back for more of my free art lessons. Check out my DVDs. And don't forget, keep painting pop art.